Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of communication engineering. Today's topic is introduction to PCM. PCM is a pulse code modulation. So here in this video I am going to talk about the introduction to PCM, what are the basic elements of PCM and there are certain advantages, disadvantages and applications. So I will discuss all these things. Let us begin. First, let us revise what is modulation, though we have already discussed, but just to review it. Modulation is the process of changing carrier signals parameter. You must remember here the parameter of carrier signal is changing by the instantaneous value of the message signal. And we have discussed the classification of modulation. There are various types, analog, digital and all. So here we are going to talk about the PCM. PCM which is the pulse code modulation and this is the simplest form of digital modulation, pulse digital modulation, right? So conceptually PCM is very simple to understand and PCM was the first method which was developed for the digital coding of the waveform. And uh, you are going to observe that PCM is applied to almost all the digital coding systems and it is widely accepted as a standard. So when you have to understand the process of pulse code modulation, what happened here? Initially the message signal is sampled, then there is a requirement of quantization and after that you will be getting the signal which you are getting in the PCM modulated signal where both the parameters that is time and amplitude both are expressed in the discrete form. So in PCM message signal is represented as a sequence of coded pulses and analog signal or information it is to be converted into a binary sequence. Binary sequence means which consists of a zeros and once. So output of PCM it resembles a binary sequence and in PCM modulation in this particular process there are basically three steps sampling, quantization and coding. In the coming video lecture I will be discussing it in more detail and in fact if you have to understand the overall pulse code modulation process and all, then you are going to observe that this is relatively complex in comparison to the analog pulse modulation technique, right? Because here number of operations need to be performed. So th that is why it is relatively complex. Let's discuss the elements of the PCM system. So the overall PCM system it can be categorized into three main parts. First is the transmitter. You can see the components of the transmitter over here. Low pass filter, sampler, quantizer and encoder. Second part is transmission path. Here you can see number of regenerative repeaters are used. And the third is the receiver where regeneration circuit, decoder, reconstruction filter, destination. These are the elements. So as I have told you that there are three parts of the system. One is transmitter, second is transmission path and third is the receiver. Now let us understand the function of each and every part, each and every element in detail. To start with the transmitter you can see here analog message signal is the input signal. Let us say XT is the input signal. It is applied to the low pass filter. So what is the function of the low pass filter? It eliminates high frequency components. So this is the major function and these high frequency components these are required to be eliminated which are present in the input signal which is the analog signal XT and whose frequency components they are greater than the message signal and why it is being done to avoid the aliasing. Then you can see here sampler is available. So it is a technique which helps to collect the samples data at the instantaneous value of message signal so as to reconstruct the original signal. After sampler there is a quantizer. So quantizer it performs a process which helps to reduce the bits. The bits which are redundant in nature. Therefore, compression also occurs. And after the quantizer, there is a 
encoder so the process of the digitization that is to be performed at this particular stage so digitization is done over here and this is done by the encoder what encoder does it designates each quantized level a binary code and sampling is done here as a sample and hold process so at the output we will be getting the pcm signal so this is how you can explain the function of the transmitter sampling is a very important operation i have already told you the sampling in the previous video but just you have to remember that it uh, this operation or the sampling is the operation in which analog signal which is the continuous time signal that is sampled according to the sampling theorem and at the output we will be getting discrete time signal and usually quantization and encoding operations they are performed in the same circuit so that type of circuit is known as adc analog to digital converter now let's talk about the transmission path so you can see in this particular diagram diagram number 2 transmission path or route it actually connects the transmitter to the receiver and regenerative repeaters are used in this transmission path you can see here two regenerative repeaters have been shown so here the purpose is to reconstruct or regenerate the transmitted sequence of coded pulse so that in case of any like signal distortion or noise exists so the overall signal can be reconstructed or regenerated so regenerative repeaters is actually increases the signal strength also so accordingly you can understand what the process is going to obtain over here so here you can see at the output we are getting regenerated signal if there is any signal uh, loss distortion or noise that is being overcome in this particular process and the third and important part is the receiver here regeneration circuit decoder reconstruction filter you can see so reconstruction filter because you have seen at the transmitter analog to digital conversion was performed so after the adc is done in the regenerative circuit and the decoder a low pass filter reconstruction filter it is all actually a kind of low pass filter so this low pass filter is employed which is known as a reconstruction filter because here what is our objective to get back the original signal so at the output usually we are getting the estimation of the original signal almost the same but it's very difficult almost the impossible to getting the exact message over there and decoder here you can see so decoder it decodes the pulse coded waveform so that to produce the original circuit and this circuit actually acts as a demodulator decoder or demodulator right and regeneration circuit is required to regenerate the original signal so you must remember over here so whatever the process is being performed sampling is being done at the transmitter so from that sample the original signal needs to be reconstructed and that is why there is a use of reconstruction filter which is the low pass filter and the decoder or demodulator process so in this manner you can explain it so the essential operation of the transmitter portion of the pcm system what we have discussed there are three parts sampling quantization and encoding when we talk about the receiver operation so the essential operations are what regeneration of impaired signal if there is any signal distortion and noise so original signal can be regenerated then decoding and demodulation of the train of quantized sample to get the original sample back this was the essential operation of the receiver and i have already told you the function of the regenerative repeater which is used to reconstruct the signal quantization and what is the combined use of the like quantization and coding which distinguish the pulse code modulation from the analog modulation technique pcm and analog modulation techniques it differs because here in the case of the pcm there is a use of quantization plus coding the function of each block which was present in the 
pulse code modulation means we have talked about the transmitter section transmission path and receiver section so all the functions i have summarized over here now let's talk about the advantages disadvantages and applications of tcm there are various advantage of pulse code modulation some of the major advantages tcm is convenient for long distance communication transmission efficiency is high noise immunity is high uniform transmission quality it provides which is the important factor that is why it is commonly used in the case of the data transmission it provides secure data transmission here signal to noise ratio is efficient and in this particular case when we are designing a system by using pcm here adding a channel deleting a channel or dropping the channel that is very easy let's talk about some of the disadvantages pcm requires large bandwidth as compared to analog system which is the limitation over here here you have to design encoding decoding quantization circuit of pcm and their designing is little bit complex there are certain problems of noise and cross talks which may creates the attenuation of the signals and sometimes overload also appears so these are the some of important disadvantages besides these advantages pcm is used in a number of fields some of the application areas are in case of satellite transmission system space communication telephony and the recent application is in the compact disc so these are various applications where pulse code modulation is successfully used thank you so much for watching this video